Hello everyone and welcome to the long awaited dino battle between blue versus the big one. Before we get started I would just like to remind everyone that this is just my opinion. If you disagree with me that's fine. I just ask that we all try to act as adult like as possible and remain civil in the comment section down below. If you disagree that's completely fine. I'd like to hear your counter arguments. With that being said let's go ahead and get started with the long awaited blue versus the big one. We will start by analyzing Velociraptor Blue. Blue was the first Velociraptor born to Jurassic World. She is mixed with black throat monitor lizard DNA to fill in the missing gap sequences for her of course raptor DNA. Along with being the first Velociraptor in Jurassic World, she was also the largest, though not by a gigantic margin. Blue was the beta of the Velociraptor pack at Jurassic World, only being outranked by Owen Grady, her human trainer. At one point in time, Blue came into conflict with her sister raptor, Echo, over superiority which ultimately led to a squeamish between the two, which left Echo with a scar on her face and proving Blue the superior brawler. Blue was heavily involved in the Indominus Rex incident on Isla Nublar, in which she at one point turned on Owen and the InGen soldiers in favor for her new alpha, the Indominus Rex. During this incident is where Blue acquired her only two confirmed kills, effectively dispatching two InGen soldiers. Near the end of the Isla Nublar incident, Blue's allegiance switched back to her original alpha, Owen Grady, and with the combined effort of the T-Rex known as Rexy and the Mosasaurus, they were able to successfully kill the Indominus Rex. Blue then ran off into the wreckage of Jurassic World to live in freedom without her alpha, Owen Grady. As stated earlier, Blue was the biggest raptor bred in Jurassic World, with her height being around 6 feet tall when standing upright. Blue was also a highly muscled Velociraptor, sporting a much bulkier build than the original Jurassic Park Raptors. According to Barry, played by Omar Sy in Jurassic World, the JW Velociraptors could run up to 50 miles per hour when in the open and while ravenous. Blue appears to be quite durable as seen when she was swiped by the Indominus and thrown into a pillar. Though this incapacitated her for a short time, she was able to return and help turn the tide of the battle between the Indominus Rex and Rexy. Blue was also well versed in the drills of search and locate as she was trained in these drills by her pack leader Owen Grady. However, Blue does not seem to have an overwhelming abundance of combat experience as she has only had one confrontation with another Velociraptor, the details of which are unknown. And then her fight with the Indominus Rex, although in this altercation she always had the assistance of either Owen and her sister raptors or Rexy the Tyrannosaurus to aid her. Possibly Blue's greatest attribute and advantage is her advanced intelligence. Blue is a prime example of a Velociraptor that thinks before she leaps, always taking the time to think out a situation before engaging in it right away. However, while this is a great attribute and would likely have helped her strive where the big one has failed in the past, i.e. charging into a reflection of Lex Murphy or deciding to engage a T-Rex one-on-one, -on -one, it has left her open to attack in the past. An example of which would be letting the Indominus Rex smack her to the side instead of attacking and engaging her outright. Based on all this, I have determined that Blue is far less aggressive than the big one, although this is not necessarily a detriment. Overall, Blue is a fierce and intelligent combatant, possibly even being the most intelligent dinosaur seen thus far in the JP franchise. She is loyal and a tough foe, and with her on your side, you'd be hard pressed to lose any conflict. Now let us move on to the famed Velociraptor from the original Jurassic Park, the big one. The Big One was one of eight original raptors bred on Isla Sorna and then transferred to Isla Nublar to be displayed in Jurassic Park. When the Big One entered the pack of raptors, she immediately took over, killing all but two of the others, leaving her with five raptor kills under her belt and an extreme amount of experience combating other velociraptors. She was by far the largest of the eight, reaching a height of around six foot three inches. 
When the big one entered the pack of raptors, she immediately took over, killing all but two of the others, leaving her with five raptor kills under her belt and an extreme amount of experience combating other velociraptors. Another thing to point out is that the big one has no visible scars or injuries from these past encounters, which indicates that she is immensely skilled in her combat and effective at taking out her opponents as quickly as possible. It is also stated by Robert Muldoon that when left in the open, this breed of raptor were capable of running 50 to 60 miles per hour. However, there is no indication that this breed of raptor ever had the opportunity to run free. The implied superior speed may be due to the original JP Raptors, including the big one, having a much slender build than the later Raptors like Blue seen in Jurassic World. The big one was very intelligent, although she did oftentimes let her aggression get the better of her brain power, often opting to leap before thinking. The big one was able to inform the raptors in her pack where to attack their enclosure, searching for signs of any weakness that would allow for their escape. While the big one may be both longer and taller than Blue, she is significantly thinner, which may cause a problem as Blue appears to be heavily muscled and well nourished. During the Jurassic Park incident, the big one was able to kill Ray Arnold and later Muldoon through ambush tactics typical to raptors. In conclusion, the big one was an extremely aggressive, fierce combatant who would come at you with everything she had, oftentimes choosing to leap before looking, but always coming down with ferocity and power. The big one's feats are very impressive and plentiful, as she was able to kill five velociraptors and two humans in her life before letting her aggression get the better of her and practically jumping straight into the jaws of a hungry Rexy. This brief conflict with Rexy did, however, give her her signature scars on the side of her head, which she is now known for and has become iconic for. In my opinion, a battle between these two would be long and drawn out as neither raptors are going down easy at all. The big one would most definitely attack first as she is far more aggressive, pouncing on Blue and attempting to bite down on her neck. However, the big one would quickly be attacked back by the much more heavily built Blue, who would be able to throw the big one off of her. The two would likely circle each other for a time, with the big one once again opting to attack first, with Blue attempting to get out of the way but ultimately being unsuccessful due to the big one's superior speed. This back and forth between the big one attacking Blue and Blue retaliating and attacking back would most likely go on for a significant amount of time, with both raptors being cut and bloody. And while Blue for a time would be able to ward off most of her enemies' attacks, the big one's experience and speed would come into play, and the battered, beaten, broken down big one would eventually land a successful kill bite on Blue, ending the bout and likely dying of her injuries later. In my opinion, the big one's size, experience, and speed would likely win her the day in this contest, although she would not walk away unscathed as she has many times before. While I do think that Blue is more intelligent than the big one, I don't think it would play a huge role in a one-on-one -on -one bout, as it would most likely come down to size, speed, and experience, and Blue is outclassed by the big one in all of these categories. So there you have it everybody, in my humble opinion, I believe that the big one in a one-on-one -on -one fight with Blue would ultimately come out the victor, although, as I said earlier, would, in my opinion, most likely die of her injuries later on as well. So, this is all my opinion, it's all subjective. If you guys have your opinion, if you guys think that Blue would beat the big one, that's absolutely fine. I'm interested to hear why you think in the comments down below. As always, let's just remain civil and respect each other's opinions. My next dino battle is going to be a little bit different and hopefully something special, and that is going to be King Kong. Yes, I know he's not a dinosaur, but I still think it will be fun. Versus the Indominus Rex, I've been getting this suggested for a while, and I did say that I was going to do this in my other dino battle, my Indominus Rex versus Ultimasaurus. So yes, we're going to do King Kong versus the Indominus Rex for the next one, and then after that, I'd like to put some herbivores in dino battles, possibly an Ankylosaur, maybe a Stegosaurus, Triceratops, and analyze some of them. So yeah, stay tuned for those. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and have a great day.